Yeah. Let me do like an hour of this. Yeah, this seems like this seems adequate or whatever. Ooh. This, this part helps. Ooh, though. yes. The the rubbing helps, but wow. <laughs> <laughs> His birthday's on Monday. Oh, so we're spending oh my God. What's up? What's going on? I am talking to you right now at 9 27 p.m. If you're watching this during the day, just pretend like the sun is already down and it's already nighttime because it is. This week we are doing vacation prep. I'm going to Mexico for my mom's birthday. We're spending five, five days out there yeah so basically i am going to be packing beauty errands like getting my nails done feet done getting my cooter waxed my underarm waxed my legs waxed <laughs> basically the whole vacation shebang i am not a late packer i like to pack when i find out that i'm actually leaving i usually have this travel kit that's ready to go filled with products and if i need a refill i would just refill those small products i will show you what i mean i could give you all the packing tips that i have because i think i'm a really good packer i have all of my clothes ready i just need to put everything together i'm unpacking from turks and caicos and i'm repacking for mexico this will be my fourth time in mexico the first time i flew to cancun and stayed there the second time i went to playa de carmen that's where we're going this week i mean not this week next week <laughs> the third time my boyfriend and i we did tulum and playa de carmen so we split up our vacation and this will be the third time that i'm going to the resort that we're going to this resort is literally the bomb. I believe it's called Ocean Riviera Paradise in Playa de Godman. It's an all-inclusive, all-you-can-eat, all-you-can-drink. They have eight restaurants on site. The food is amazing. Free room service, all the good stuff. And not only do they offer these things, but the resort is gorgeous. It's just absolutely beautiful. And it's so big that you need like a little trolley bus to get around they usually have the time posted for when the next trolley is gonna come if you don't want to walk they also have this forest where the monkeys hang out like you can just go and just check out the monkeys i remember the last time i went a monkey stole a little girl's airpods it, it wasn't funny but it was funny <laughs> the people are so nice there i also feel very comfortable going to mexico with my mom because she speaks spanish hello it wasn't nice when my boyfriend and i went because they robbed us and we couldn't do anything about it because those weren't our people once my mom speaks spanish to them they be like oh tu hablo espanol you know like they get so happy and they're like oh you're one of us like let's take care of you they're always so nice to my mom and that that just makes me feel you know secured that's when they ask me if i speak spanish i'm like un poquito and they're like mm. you know i'm about to get packing i randomly decided to restart naruto all the way from the beginning the beginning in the beginning and i've rewatched naruto probably a total of like nine times now like in my life my older cousins put me on to naruto when i was about like seven eight years old and i don't care if it's like an overrated anime show but i love it and every time i watch it is like i'm watching it for the first time even though i know what's gonna happen this episode is actually very sad it's where the third hokage dies but that's that <laughs> tomorrow morning is my nail appointment i have to go into the city at 10 a.m i'm going looking exactly like this because the last time i went to get my nails done and my hair was all out i literally got assaulted by a bum and i'm not talking about the homeless people i'm talking about the 
crack head bums like the people who do drugs and they're in the streets in new york city and it's becoming so unsafe because of that that's really why i don't feel comfortable going to the city anymore because you know there's too many stories of people getting slashed in the train stations and it's usually these people that are doing it it's not the new york city that i used to know i never spoke about this online but i did get assaulted and he didn't touch me like anywhere inappropriately but i was literally minding my business walking down the stairs on the phone with my mom talking about how cute my nails were and then first of all he looked like a normal guy okay he looked like a normal person so i paid him no mind so i'm walking down the stairs he's walking up the stairs so while i'm on the phone I'm like yeah yeah thank you yeah. he literally goes all that fucking hair and he smacks me in my head when i mean smack me i mean like i was frozen i couldn't believe what just happened there was no cops around and then i told my mom a bum just hit me because when i turned back his pants were all down and he was like you know had that walk a guy literally just laid his hands on me and that has never happened before so i was in shock my hair was in its natural afro there was this guy at the bottom and then he was like are you okay and then he looked at my hair and then he looked at me and he like shrugged like as if i asked for it and then i, th I was like double whoa what i told my mom i'll call her back literally started crying on the train on my way back home because i was like i couldn't believe that happened when i got home i just broke down started crying that was very ugh for me so i don't care how i look when i go to the city unless i have an event to go to and now ever since that happened i've only been asking for uber codes to go to events so i don't have to get on a train i mean tomorrow morning i have to get on a train because i don't want to take an uber to the lower east side i just refuse so i'm gonna just look like one of them so they won't bother me that's how i see it you know and i'm not talking about the people that are on the streets because they have no choice i'm just talking about the ones that they're there because they want to be there and they just want to bother people i guess i don't know okay i'm getting distracted i'm sorry packing i have all of my clothes here that i am planning on packing and this is my little travel kit well it's not so oh excuse me uh, excuse me it's not so little but it folds and this is basically what i take with me oh something just fell out on every vacation all of my necessities are here. I have Tylenol, eye drops, lint roller, something for the eyebrow lashes. This is where I keep my toothbrush, Listerine, body wash, powder, face lotion, all the stuff for my face. And everything is travel size. Doesn't matter if I'm going away for a long time or a short time. Every single thing is travel size. Except for my sunscreen and like tanning lotion. But other than that, look, I keep flosses in here. And basically, when these things run out, that's when I go to the store and replace them. This is where I keep my sunscreen and tanning lotion. And at the bottom here, I just have some clear shower caps, Pepto-Bismol, just in case the stomach starts acting funny on vacation. You never know. Um, Poopery spray. Yes, got some poopery spray. I like to keep this in my carry-on which i'm going to put but these are toilet seat covers lifesaver because we know these bathrooms be dirty so oh and lysol yeah cool thing about it is that it comes with this hook so this is like the first thing i take out and i just hook it on the bathroom door and we're good to go and it folds up like this it folds up into this cute bag you see yeah and there's also a space opening here yeah i was putting together the fits you know my photographer will be on vacation with me my photographer is my mom she takes majority of my pictures i've been training her for a while now and she's doing a damn thing okay yeah i have this knit dress from cult gaia i was on the line for three hours for the cult gaia sample sale 
a few months ago and I wasn't leaving with nothing. I was like, oh, I could just wear this whenever I go away and I'm going away, so. This is a cover up that I got from Jaded London. I'm not sure how I feel about how it looks on me, but it has these cute beads at the bottom that I love. I think I'm gonna return it though. I just don't like how long it looks across my stomach and my torso is not that long for it to look cute. So I think I'm gonna return this. When I pack, I use these packing cubes that I got from Amazon. It came in a set. There's bigger ones than this. I'm just using the small one because I'm taking my carry-on. It really does help with saving space and keeping things organized. I'm a very organized girly when I can be. Like I could be super organized. And of course we have those days where we're like, eh, yeah, I have those days too. But when it comes to packing, I like to know where everything is and I would like for everything to be in one place. Just gonna show you how I put my clothes together in the packing cubes. Ooh, I got this swimsuit from White Fox. Was it from White Fox? Yeah, from White Fox. And I'm excited to wear this. It's a cute swimsuit. I have some night outfits. I don't even need a lot of day outfits because I'm just gonna be by the pool sleeping. That's that's honestly, that's all I want to do. I just want to lay out on the beach, by the pool, just sleep, catch a tan, eat. So I'm going to be in a bathing suit like 90% of the time. Just when we go out to eat, I need to wear clothes, obviously. Obviously. When it comes to packing up so many looks, why not change twice in one night? You feel me? I'm just going to place the packing cube on the floor. And I usually like to fold all of my clothes like this. So it only fits like half or at least like leave some space so that I could put clothes this way. If you know, if that makes sense. All my clothes are folded the same. And these are very he heavy when it comes to fabric. So I'm figuring out if I would like for it to take space in this or Put it elsewhere so i'm gonna put it on the side for now right now i'm just gonna pick out a shirt to go with these shorts i turned on my other light so hopefully you could see better when it comes to outfits with bottoms and tops i usually like to fold up my top and put it in between my bottoms so when i unpack i'm like okay this is one outfit that i planned and this is what i'm gonna wear so i'm basically folding it like this putting the shirt at the top and then rolling it up so that it looks like that. Like so. And also, if it looks deformed, once you zip it up, it's gonna keep it in its cube form, which I love. Whatever doesn't fit, you just make room for it, that's all. I'm not going to finish packing tonight. I'm just getting my stuff together. Yes. This is the bag that I usually keep my swimsuit in. I packed up these clothes. I'm just going to keep it in the back here. I still have space for pajamas and whatnot. I'm just going to keep this bag here. Just so it's not so messy. Let me keep this here you see how seamlessly those two fit beautiful even though this may have to go on the other side because it's not gonna zip and this is my laundry bag that I usually take when I go away I have a lot more in different sizes different colors but this is just where I keep you know all my dirty clothes and when I get back home, it's just easier for me to sort laundry and wash them so I can quickly unpack and not worry about it again. I just showered, washed my face, brushed my teeth, all that good stuff, you know, the nighttime routine. It is now midnight and I have to be up at six this morning. I will see you in the morning for the nail appointment. These are currently the nails. Focuses, yeah. I think I want to do a French tomorrow, something simple. I do have a long day tomorrow. Uh, after going into the city in the morning, I have to come back home to take care of Brooklyn, then I'm going back to the city. 
I am seeing Funny Girl. I'm so excited because I didn't know that Leah Michelle was playing Fanny until probably like a month ago. And her last day is literally Saturday, I believe. Really excited about that. I don't know if I'll put it in this vlog because it's not really vacation prep, but it could be like a little clip. I'm just talking to myself right now, but I gotta go to sleep, so good night. It feels so good to finally have a sweater on. Not like you can't wear a sweater in the summertime, but it's starting to get chilly and fall is coming. I'm not really a fan of summer. No. It's currently 8.01 a.m. I have about 19 minutes to walk Brooklyn. Good morning, Brooklyn. Say good morning. Oh, side eye. He already ate. I just have to walk him make sure that he relieves himself before I go. I put on Bluey for him. Don't mind the mess near the TV. I don't know, I saw on TikTok that dogs could see the colors of the show. Sometimes I catch him watching it and most of the time he's just sleeping. Whenever I leave the house, I just like to have the TV on for him so he'll still hear noises and it's not so quiet in the house. I just ordered my Uber. We're about to leave. Last night when I was talking about looking like one of the druggies so they won't bother me, I wasn't saying that to make fun of them. Growing up in New York City, taking the trains all the time, we were just taught to just stay away from them because obviously they're on drugs. You see a lot of them do the heroin bends and crazy stuff. I really do pray and hope that they seek help and that less of them are in New York City streets because now it's just becoming violent and dangerous. I'm gonna wear my shades. Whenever I wear my shades, I feel like I'm invisible in some type of way. My nails are done. These are the Mexico nails. I am in a rush, I gotta go. I will talk to you when there's another vacation prep coming. Peace. What's up? Today is Monday, the 4th. I'm leaving on Friday, which means I have three more days to get ready for this trip. I was literally doing nothing up until now and I was going to go with my fro and I looked up the humidity in Mexico and it's at 
automatic no. My mom suggested that I should do the mini twists that I did a few months back. I probably should. It would be the safest hairstyle for me to travel with and I could do it myself. So that's what I'm going to do instead of wasting the day doing nothing. I'm gonna go wash my hair right now and I'm going to start on these mini twists. Brooklyn just snored. That's how I kind of feel right now. <laughs> I just finished washing my hair. I am going to start on these mini twists forever gonna self promo but i do have a full detailed tutorial up on how i do these mini twists on a serious note i'm not gonna play around this fall i think i'm gonna learn how to do my own hair when it comes to protective styling because i don't know i just have this weird feeling that a surge is gonna go up in prices of course, a new hairstyle is going to be out and popping. These prices are getting out of control, in my opinion. And I feel like if I try hard enough, there's nothing that I can't do. Especially when it comes to hair. The only thing that discourages me is that I have too much of it. I have too much hair. Majority of the time, I just don't want to deal with it. And of course, that's just me being lazy. I'm calling myself out because I can just watch out for the protective hairstyle videos because your girl gonna be running to the beauty supply store every now and then. Mm -hmm. I hope you don't laugh at my bottle, but this is what I just did because I don't know, for some reason it the product leaked in a paper bag and there's also a sticker on here that I don't want to take off. If you've seen one of my videos, I explained why I don't like stickers. So I just wrapped it in a plastic bag and I put scrunchies over it. And this is how I'm gonna function today. You already know. This is gonna be my entertainment while I do my hair.
Chick-fil-A's close on Labor Day? What's this? Anyways. I just finished with my hair. It's almost 11 p.m. I would have finished sooner, but I had Bible study at 8, which went on for two hours. So yeah, I am finished and I am tired and I am ready to go to bed. I believe next on the list is getting a pedicure because I need my feet done. And I think I have an ingrown because the side of my toenail was starting to hurt. Of course, I have to get the full body waxed, but for now, another good night <laughs> today is a new day and i'm about to get a pedicure i literally couldn't sleep last night because my toe was throbbing you know when you have the ingrown nail on the side and you ask them to cut into the toe to take it out i was trying to get an appointment for earlier but they only had five o'clock it's 4 48 right now the nail salon is not too far from me i'm ready to get whatever it is that's bothering me out because it really hurts and it's an annoying throbbing kind of pain that needs to go away note to self i need a tripod for the car got it <laughs> I'm not happy with this foot. It was hurting a lot, but she could have at least like cleaned it up for me. She didn't want to touch it at all because I was in pain, but. I'm about to go pick up some Chinese food. I haven't had that in a while, and I am just craving vegetable fried rice with chicken wings. I remember last time I got it, they robbed me. They didn't put the chicken on top of the rice. They just put the rice on the side and the chicken on the other side. I don't know. Everything is getting scary. People want more money and they're giving out less stuff. I don't like it. I don't. I feel like we should get what we pay for. And if I'm paying almost $10 for chicken and fried rice, I would expect $10 worth of chicken and fried rice. You know what I'm saying? I might be ranting right now, but I remember when chicken wings were 25 cents each. I don't know if that's showing my age or I mean I'm 21 I don't think I'm that old but it went from 25 to 50 to 75 now it's a dollar per chicken not even I think it's like a dollar 25 or something like that but inflation is real I'm in the same shirt from yesterday but I promise it's a new day today is Wednesday I'm running little errands I'm gonna go to the mall head to Best Buy to pick out new headphones right now I'm going to clean up, put my stuff together, things that I'm packing, see what else I need, make a list so when I go to the mall, I don't forget anything. I have a bit to clean up if I slowly turn my camera and in the, see the wagon? Yeah, in the opposite way, show you my room. Whenever I go on vacation, I like to make sure that my house is clean so I don't have to come back to any stresses. So, I'm going to be doing laundry, cleaning up. Today is Brooklyn's last day with me. Till I get back, he gets dropped off at daycare tomorrow morning.
we made it to the mall. I live around a lot. Why do people go fast in parking lots? Make it make sense. I live near a lot of shopping centers or areas, malls, whatever you call it. I usually come to American Dream because everything is here and I can also eat the food that I like. I'm about to put y'all on. Yard House has the best happy hour menu that I have ever seen. Not only do they have majority of their appetizers half off, but the food is just really good. This is going to be my first time recording and talking to you in a mall. This is my promotion. This is my graduation. I'm not going to get shy and switch to my phone. I got this. I got this. We got this. <laughs> The only thing that sucks about this mall is that you have to pay for parking, $5. I got pretty good parking though. Yard house that way. I wish this camera was pocket size. I wish it was this small so people could barely see it. Everybody wants a thrill. this video to get copyrighted. I can barely walk right now. My stomach is so full. Whoever made my sliders put their foot in it because it was so good. We're about to go to Best Buy. I believe that's the next door that's closest to the restaurant. which is right across from Best Buy. Love this mall. And I got a new battery for my tripod. So happy. I don't even know what I need from here, for real. I think I just walked up in here. Ready to spend money that I don't have. Oh, I went with the Beats Studio Pro that just dropped, apparently. And I have 60 days to try it out, see how it works. I don't want to waste time here either. I definitely need to go to Sephora for a few things. I feel like I'm just playing around here. All right, now we are going to Sephora. I don't know, but comment if you like Ulta or Sephora better. Look at me. Right now we are at Zara. I'm invited to an event next week and I have a feeling that a special someone is gonna be there. Someone iconic. I have nothing to wear so I'm going to try to find an outfit. If push comes to shove, then I will just order something online. about time that I get going it's now 7 p.m. and I still have to clean but today was interesting recording in the mall with people looking at me like I'm crazy do they pay my bills no they don't and it's not like YouTube is paying me either but this is how I make my coin you know I think I did pretty good with the spending today the headphones were the biggest purchase but I really need new headphones I feel like that was an investment that I made 
and if I don't like it I have 60 days to return it try something else but I just really need headphones for the gym for when I'm traveling my airpods first generation is trash right now so trash once I get back home I'm still going to clean put my stuff together walk Brooklyn I'm really gonna miss him so I'm gonna spend some time with him outside yeah so yeah a little bit late this morning I'm on my way to get waxed this morning I have about a 40 minute drive I asked her last minute if I could get waxed today and I was like asking to get waxed the day before you go on vacation is kind of crazy why did I do that and she only had 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. available it looks like there's a little bit of traffic 41 minutes starting route today I'm getting a Brazilian I'm getting my underarms waxed, and I'm getting my legs waxed this is about to be a real painful appointment. I would say we got this, but I'm going to be the one on that table. So I got this. I've been getting a Brazilian since I was about 15. My mom is the one that took me. She one day saw what was going on down there. And she's like, oh, uh, uh, this, this cannot be happening. I thank her for that because now not only am I... I wouldn't say used to the pain because the pain is the same every single time but my hair is growing back thinner I have no complaints I could go two months without you know getting waxed two three months but thank you mom thank you for that I just got here I did not mentally prepare for this I'm over it they had a lot of conch it's like fish it was, it was <laughs> what does balling out mean? Like it's growing more in the middle? I, you're getting bald. Oh! Yeah, good. Yay! Yeah. Ready? Mm-hmm. ready? Mm -hmm. The middle part is always the worst for me. Yeah, that's why I'm getting it out the way. Okay. I like editing. Like, I really enjoy the editing process. Ready to go to Camp Bucks? I think he's ready. I am back home. Brooklyn is with his trainer. I finished the last part of my vacation prep. It doesn't feel like I'm leaving tomorrow, which is weird. Like this time, tomorrow. I will already be in Mexico. I do have a lot to edit for this video. This is going to be my first long form video. Very excited about it. I'm not going to do anything that I haven't shown on camera. I'm already fully packed. Thank you so much for watching this video. As Jay-Z said, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. And I appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, why aren't you? Because you should. Starting Sunday, I will be doing these weekly vlogs every week. It will be long form, similar to what happened in this video. I'm going to be recording what happens throughout my day, during the week. Next week is going to be a busy week. I did mention that I'm invited to an event and I will be vlogging at that special event. And I can't wait for y'all to see who I think is gonna be there. This is the end of the video. This is where I say goodbye for now and I will talk to you soon. Bye.